Roger, a very good morning to you. How's everything? Oh, great, great. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, now, there, I read Jason Mackey's story in the Post-Gazette today, and I implore everybody to go out and do that. I, I mean, I've got to tell you, you almost didn't do this? This almost didn't happen this week? What in the <laughs> heck, Roger? <laughs> well, I was surprised. I mean, I think a lot of people were. And I actually watched that game, you know, with the Raiders, and, and I thought they were going to tie. <laughs> we all did. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought – I thought that would be the most unusual way to not get into the playoffs. But, hey, it worked out great. And I think now there's even more excitement about the game because of that. Agreed. How much did you guys have to step on the gas to get this done? How much time do you usually spend on it? Like, when you see that the Steelers are obviously a playoff team in those years where they're playing really well, and you get to, like, do you wait till after Thanksgiving? When do you start to usually put it together? Usually I wait till after Thanksgiving because the main reason is, well, first you want to see if they're, you know, if they're doing well and going, going to go to the playoffs. But also it's injuries. Mm-hmm. Like if you put somebody in and they end up being injured, then it doesn't look right in the song. So, so usually I wait till the beginning of December, second week of December. Do you like, Roger, when you're, say, watching, I know you say you wait, but at some point, say, you know, Najee Harris, you know something's going to happen. So – like a line will come to you at some point. Do you have to jot it down so you don't forget it and that kind of stuff? No, no. I actually each year when I decide to do it, I get everybody's names and then I can, you know, mix it around so it rhymes and it flows. And no, it usually just takes me about an hour. To get it together. <laughs> all the great that's Roger, it. Roger. Yes. Uh, that's the same story yeah. I've heard from all the great songwriters, songwriters. over the years. Rock, rock, all Mick, those and, guys. Mick yeah. and Keith go into a booth, and yes. 15 minutes later, they got Jumpin' Jack Flash banged out. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, much like on the football field, I see that Devin Bush disappeared from your song. Uh, he's not in it. <laughs> so, was it a tough choice to not have certain guys in there, like Devin Bush? <laughs> Well, it's always a process to say who is song worthy, you know, and uh, but it was just we wanted to add somebody else. So we'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said, you got to make sure the guys that are in the song are at least going to show up on Sundays, whether they're hurt or just, well, not showing up. Um, we, we, we joked about this earlier in the week, Roger. Friar Muth. How in the hell yeah. do you fit Friar Muth in? <laughs> Well, there, there's a good uh, example right there is he's popular. Mm-hmm. So you have to get him into the song. And Friar Muth is, we, we worked it out. It's, it doesn't, it, it, it flows if you do it a certain way. If you, if you get it in, well, you'll, you'll see in the song, it's the second name in the line. So it was able to flow in and I didn't have to rhyme anything with it. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say you took the easy way out. No. I don't want to. Yeah. That's but genius, in that, my opinion. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. aren't there some some go to like traditional lines? For example, it's off of you just plug in the kicker's name off his toe, yeah. right? Isn't that like a standard yeah. just for every time? Yeah, that's a standard, and you know, through all these years, I think there's only been maybe four kickers, so and that works out. Yeah. Pretty much every year. Wait till they sign that Hungarian kicker. Yeah. It's got 39 different <laughs> Good luck incidents get, altogether. Getting your premium yes. into a, <laughs> right. a song, yeah. You, you know, I'm waiting for a challenge with that because all the kickers have been, well, it started out with Anderson, and then it was Johnson and Jeffrey. You know, real simple names, you know. So if I get... Yeah, multiple syllable. It'll be interesting. Well, I do have a serious question. It's, take me all the way back to the infancy of this. How and why did it start, Roger? <laughs> well, let's see. Back in 94, the Steelers were actually, well, you know, they were getting mm-hmm. really good again. The 80s were kind of a, you know, a bump in the road. But um, I just thought there hasn't been a good fight song since the polka. And, and you know, I sat down, I wrote this. It, it didn't. T- it just popped in my head. Yeah, it was one of an hour, right? Minutes. Well, not even. <laughs> like 20, 30 minutes, I had it all down. And I thought, well, if I go to a studio, then, you know, then maybe they'll play it on the radio. And uh, that's what we did. And, you know, here we are 27 years later.
were you always were you always musically inclined though, Roger? And is that something oh, that, yeah. that that has been passed? Because yeah. I know Ryan has his own studio, right? Your son, right, right, yeah. Both of my sons are, are involved in music, and uh, but yeah, I started out, um, you know, playing in bands when I was younger, you know, many years ago. Uh, but I always wrote music, and I always wrote songs on piano, guitar, so forth. But uh, you know, it's just something I, just, I sat down and just just on the piano actually, and just came popped in my head. Well, like you, somebody was telling me what to do, you know. <laughs> well, you know what's going to happen today is that we're yeah, we, we're play, we're going to play it again. We played it earlier, and the song is going to be living in the heads of Pittsburghers today. Um, does it get? Does that? Does that hold that? Here we go. Does that whole thing get stuck in your head, or are you just immune you know, to it? Well, it, it's funny because you know I I really only listen to it at this time of the year. You know, once everything's over, I, you don't think about, it. but. When I play the song, like I recently did a couple days ago, play the song to figure out, you know, what I got to change. Yeah, you know, I'm listening to it. And I'm like, and I haven't heard it in a year. And I'm thinking, you know, this is a pretty good song. You know? <laughs> so I agree. When you don't, when you don't hear it all the time, you know, if there's only, it's like, it's like a, like a Christmas carol. You know, you you hear Silent Night. You know, just that certain time of year, every year that'll go on forever. And this is. You know, but if you had to listen to it all year, eh, it would probably wear out its welcome. No, I I absolutely agree. Um, mm. Do you have any stories of people? You know, we hear. I mean, you're like our Michael Bublé. Speaking of Silent Night, you're like our inter Michael <laughs> Bublé doing this song. Do, 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 have you heard any stories of people who say like, "Hey, we played this as an intro to our wedding," or "I remember this song when I met my wife," or whatever? Did the people send you anything that says that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I get a lot of requests for the song that, that people will play. It's like they might put in their own words or something, and, and they'll play it at their weddings or some event or something like that. I get that a lot, yeah. Do you, comp do, you, do, you do that for them? No, I don't do it for them. They kind of – I'll give them, like, the background, and they, they put in their own thing. Ah, do you but, ever get uh, suggestions from people for alternate lyrics? Like, we, we had fun with it on Monday. Oh, gosh, did we And, and people got – I mean, we got thousands of suggestions from people for goofy different lines to plug into the song. But you've kind of got the template down now where all you got to do is swap out the names, right? Pretty much. Yeah, the only uh, – well, first of all, yeah, that's a lot of fun when people I, – because I, I seen that. I, I seen what was going on. And I'm thinking, God, everybody's having so much fun with this, you mm -hmm. know, putting in their own, you know, takes and so forth. And I, that's when I decided, yeah, okay, I, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do this. But, but the only thing I had to change that was way back. It used to be, uh, this is the year we'll get the one for the thumb. Mm -hmm. And then when they, you know, won the fifth one, I had to change that line. Yeah, this and is, and it said. Uh, we're from Pittsburgh. The five, it was the five-time Super Bowl champs. So then, when they won the next Super Bowl, all I had to do was punch in six. There you go. Five <laughs> so well, I could do that for you know if they went twelve. You know. Could, well, but if they get another one, Roger, seven is a two-syllable well, word. How are you going to sl slam the extra syllable in? Say it fast. Yeah. Oh, I'll make that work. <laughs> of course, I'll make you will. that work. <laughs> Roger, you're our poet laureate here in Pittsburgh. We we love it. Our black and gold poet laureate. We appreciate your time. We're gonna play the song again. People, yeah. it's lighting up this morning. We we appreciate That's all you good. do. And honestly, I mean this, and, and I'm not trying to be funny. When people hear that, it takes them to different points of their life. Mm -hmm. It makes them go back to their childhood. For some, yeah. some of them, it says, "Hey, I remember when we would go to the games and tailgate at Three Rivers or this or that." You have been able to mark people's lives with memories with thoughts and with relationships and with coming up in this town and it really you, you don't ever lose sight of what a special thing that is that you've done to unite people i mean that roger no oh, well thank you very much that's very kind <laughs> well, and thank you for letting us be the first ones to play it this morning too I, i'm, I'm sure, dead serious no when i say that means a lot to, to us mm -hmm. I, to, to be able to play it for people here this morning uh, Great, great. Yeah, let's have fun. Absolutely. Let's have some fun. <laughs> ben said. Thanks again, Roger. We appreciate it and enjoy the games this weekend. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Roger. There he is. Roger Wood. So I remember when he dropped Legend. that off at TAE. I was working uh -huh. at the flagship when, they, the, the when CD it first version. came. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. And it might have been a floppy. Who knows? But but anyway, he um 
they, we got a bunch of songs. I remember back then. Remember people the stacks would of CDs songs, that used right? to come in around this right. time of year. And and that's the one that's it's got, it's so simple, and it's got the staying power. We would spend entire hours of shows back in the day. I remember over there just playing different songs people submitted. Right, the the, the Brenson Buckner video <laughs> oh, also was in <laughs> a little bit of a jinx 1994. there. 1994. Yeah, yeah. Rogers. Uh, Better stood the test of time. Than, Seems like it. Yeah, uh, I, and I do mean that. I think a lot of people they remember their times when they, you know, the Super Bowl XXX or you know just whatever. That's it, what it is for. Like you said, it takes people back to a certain point in time. Me. It takes me immediately back to January 1995 or 96, and watching that game and literally like slamming my hands down yeah. on the ground. Just put Larry after, Brown in the song. Yeah. Exactly. Jesus. It, I mean, it, it reminds me of the Neil O'Donnell <laughs> throws to Larry Brown. It, Here we go. It reminds me of all those Blitzburg defense moments, you know, Greg Lloyd and Kevin Green and all that stuff. Uh, and, and then to, for other people, it, it might be like he said, it's, it's the Jeff Reed years or whatever it is. It's uh, it does. It takes you back to a certain specific point. Well,